Okay, so Jonathan Ruiz, your accounting coach, survival tips. Again, uh, thank you so much for following the CPA Dreams at Instagram and this, the accounting coach survival tips or CPA Dreams on Facebook page. So thank you, thank you so much. So today, what I'm going to share is about the rules of debit and credit. But before that, again, please invite your friends or families that are taking senior high school K-12 basic education curriculum, accountancy, business and management specialized subject, or if they are taking accounting 101 subject or planning to take Bachelor of Science in Accountancy. So this mini video series will really, really help them because I'm sharing the foundation and fundamentals of accounting. So our agenda today, rules of debit and credit. This is going to be used from the first year until the end of your accountancy degree, even at the time of your work or job. Our learning outcome, identifying and analyzing business transactions and events, rules of debit and credit, and I'm going to give some multiple choice question. Now, identifying and analyzing transactions, this is the first step in the accounting cycle. This is the process of selecting a transaction or event and analyzing its impact on the financial position, meaning on the assets equals liabilities plus equity equation. So this is the time that you are going to check if it's going to increase the assets or increase the liabilities or decrease the equity. Then you have, I'm going to remind you again, if it's on the asset side, it will be uh, involving the debit and the credit. Also, in the liabilities and equity, you have the debit and the credit. I'm going to give you some uh, examples of this debit and credit later. At the moment, you just need to understand how the assets increase. Is it debit or is it credit? How the liabilities decrease? Is it debit or credit? Okay, so that is the main focus of this discussion. Now, but before that, what is an account? An account is used as the storage unit of information in double entry system. Like for example, cash account, accounts receivable account, uh, inventory account, and then they are composed of three parts. The name of the account or the account title, the debit side, and the credit side. Okay, actually, we are using it in accounting as the account. Okay, and the account title, for example, is cash. What is the debit side will be on the left, and the credit side will be on the right. Okay, now, this is the rules of debit and credit. An asset, so all accounts under asset, if the asset will increase, it will be debit. If the asset will decrease, then it will be credit. Okay? Now, for liabilities, increase in liabilities, it will be credit. Decrease in liabilities, it is debit. What about equity? It is same as the liability. Decrease in equity, it will be credit. And then decrease in equity, it will be debit. Now, for income, it is like equity and liabilities. Increase in income, it's credit. Decrease in income, it's debit. Okay? Now, what about expenses? Decrease, increase in expenses, debit. Decrease in expenses, credit. Okay, so to summarize, this is what you need to remember. Asset, increase, debit, decrease, credit. Liability, increase, credit, decrease, debit. Same as equity, decrease, debit, increase, credit. Again, 
for, li for liability, it's increase credit, decrease debit. For asset, increase debit, credit, decrease. Now, multiple choice question. Given the dual effects of accountable events, an increase in asset cannot possibly be accompanied by A. Decrease in another asset. C. Increase in a liability. B. Decrease in owner's equity. D. Increase in revenue. Two seconds. Answer is Boy. It cannot be accompanied by Decrease in owner's equity. Next question. A transaction costs a 60,000 increase in both assets and total liabilities. This transaction could have been. Okay, two seconds. Answer is C. Purchase of a piece of office furniture for 100,000, paying 40,000 cash and issuing a note payable for the balance. So meaning there is a 60,000 increase in liabilities. Again, recap, so we identify and analyze transactions. I give you the rules of debit and credit and we answer two multiple choice questions. Again, if you want the transcript of these videos and PowerPoint, just copy on the district description, the link, which is uh, HTTP EEPURL, and then sign in. So you will receive all the videos and the PowerPoint presentation. Thank you so much. Please do like and share our FB page. Thank you.